Hey everybody, it's Matt Modi here again from ModiSportsAnalytics.com. Uh, as always, on behalf of OddsJam, the sharpest betting platform that you can find on the internet. Um, so I'm here to talk to you today uh, about the importance of line shopping, and I'm also going to give you four picks uh, for NFL Sunday. Uh, for those of you OGs who listen to my former podcast, Betting with the Bears, um, every Sunday we would give out four picks. Uh, we would do a lock. We would do an underdog, one player prop, and one game prop. Um, and those were incredibly profitable. Uh, I forget the exact numbers, but we were up over, um, for $100 betters on each one, we were up over $1,000. So it uh, definitely went really well. So I would advise tailing. Um, and using the Odds Jam platform, I'll show you why they're all not only good bets based on just my knowledge of sports, but also uh, profitable based on positive EV betting. Um, but first, I want to show a really quick example of why it's so important to line shop. Um, and we'll look at UTEP Boise State. So for me, when I first started looking at odds, or uh, excuse me, sports books, I learned the DraftKings platform. So it's one I'm most comfortable with. Obviously, you don't have to do this with DraftKings, but I was looking at the college football slate and I, I read up that UTEP was a good bet. So I was going to bet them on DraftKings. Plus 25 or yeah, plus 25 and minus 110. But then obviously I'm a paid subscriber of Oz Jam. So I was like, well, before I do that, let me make sure I use their product to its full advantage and uh, see if I can get a better line. So I went into Boise State, UTEP. Uh, this page shows you everything you can possibly want. I went to point spread and then I scored all the way down uh, to see if I could find the best odds. So instead of getting UTEP plus 25 on minus 110 on DraftKings, you could either get them at plus 100 for the for the exact same bet, or you could you could get an extra point with the same odds. So if I had just been using DraftKings, I would have taken a worse bet uh, than I could have possibly gotten. And as you can see, there's only these seven or eight sports books here. So being in Virginia, these are the only eight that I have access to. Um, I prefer to use the onshore ones as opposed to the offshore ones like Bovada, um, but obviously. Just make sure you and you can customize this to whichever ones you have. But um, it's just really important to make sure that before you place a bet, you make sure you do it and you check out the different lines. So another example of that. So I really think um, I'm an Eagles fan. I really think that they're going to win on Sunday against the Falcons. So again, using the tool, go to odds, football, NFL, and then I'll scroll down to the Eagles matchup. And if I were to use... DraftKings, I get well, in this case, DraftKings does have the best odds. But let's say I wanted to use BetMGM or Barstool. I could get them at plus, I would only get them at plus 145. So that's an extra 15 points, uh, 0.15 that you're getting right there just from just from looking at the different odds. Um, so it, like I said, it's incredibly important to look at your different one, to look at the different ones uh, and make sure that you're getting the best bet because uh, th that's kind of how you are profitable over time. So Along with uh, obviously doing the arbing, doing the positive EV bets, if you want to place your own just on, on what you like, make sure you do that and make sure you get that the best lines for it because over time, it's 100% going to help you be profitable. Um, so now to the four picks, and I'll give you a little bit of background about how I decide which, which ones that I'm going to pick. So for the lock, the rule that we have is the odds have to be better than minus one, or excuse me, minus 200. So it wouldn't really be fair, like for the game last night, the Bucks, even though it ended up being close, they were like minus three hundred something, and it's just too easy. It's not, it's not sharp betting, and no one wants to, no one wants to mess with those odds. Um, and then the underdog, we just take them straight up. Obviously, they have to be plus money. And then the player prop and the game prop, same, same. They have to be better than minus two hundred. And I normally try to find at least, especially for player props, I'm either trying to find something really sharp. Um, that's just like a kind of a play that's lesser known, but I really like, or I try to see it's, if it's plus money because the player props are a little more hit or miss. So I like to only bet on the plus money ones. And that's, and that way I know that I'll be profitable, even if I hit less than 50%, but first things first. So, um, what I do is I just look at the lines. Uh, and again, I'll, I do this on DraftKings, but, but before I actually place the bet, I make sure to, to look at the odds jam and all the different ones. But I'll go on DraftKings and I'll just quickly look at all the games um, and I'll decide who I like. So looking through, obviously, I really like the 49ers, but for, um, for my lock, eight points is a lot. And obviously, those that juice is way too much. So keep going. 
Um, I do like Tennessee a lot. Uh, minus 155 is a lot, and I don't want to quite want to take the field goal. So I keep going, and uh, eventually what I settled on, so my official lock of the day is Seattle. I know they're away, but um, minus 145 is, is, is the DraftKings one, but uh, you can find the best odds, as I said, on Ashim. I believe they are – uh, let's find out. I don't want to say anything wrong, so – um, the best odds you can get to so their minus 143. So, uh, a little bit better than DraftKings, which was minus 145. Um, and then, but the thing I do, the always, the next thing I do is make sure that it's a positive EV bet. So you can either do that going on, uh, the positive EV page of odds jam, which obviously I do as a paying subscriber, but if you don't have the product or you just want to quickly look, um, you look at the line that, um, Pinnacle has or odds jam, the two sharpest sports books out there. So looking at Seattle money line, minus 154. So it's not a huge EV opportunity, but I really think they're gonna win. And minus 143, that's positive EV bet. So if you do that over time, you will be profitable. So the official lock of the day is gonna be Seattle minus 143 using Barstool. But again, that's only because I have this limited to the ones that I can use. Um, obviously you can see that Barstool, Bent Rivers, and Unibet are the ones that have the best. But if you have access to more or you use the offshore ones, by all means, find that you could probably get better odds if, if you're not limiting yourself like this. But for me as a Virginia resident, that's what I'm doing. So the underdog, um, again, I, I looked through. I, I liked the Chargers, but plus 110 isn't great juice for an underdog. And, you know, the Chargers, I do, I really like them this year, but I do also like the Washington football team. I think they're going to win the division. Um, and I didn't want to bet the Chargers traveling east. So the next underdog I really liked, the two I was debating between were the Eagles at plus 160 and the Dolphins at also plus 160. Um, I settled on the Eagles, and I believe the best odds you can get, we just we just looked. Um, let's do this again. Wait for this to load. Um, you go so plus 160 okay so DraftKings. i yeah i just i just looked at that gives you the best odds so again what you want to do is okay make sure this is a sharp bet is the plus 160 is that is that good odds let's see what pinnacle has them at um so pinnacle has them at the true line has the eagles at plus 157. so again not a huge positive ev um but it still is positive uh, even if i like a bet i simply won't put money on something that isn't positive ev because that's just you might win a couple, but over time, that's not going to be profitable. So, um, like I said, the Eagles are the official underdog play of the week. Um, I can get into the football reasons why I really like them, uh, but for this, uh, but I'll do that on Twitter and I'll do that on my Eagles blog. But for this specifically, I just kind of want to show the, the importance of making it profitable. Um, so that's why I kind of decide the lock and the dog. So it's it's all about what you personally think. I I scroll through each game. Uh, you know the Chiefs. 250 is too much. Five and a half points is a lot. Browns could be good this year. I didn't choose them. Another candidate was the Broncos. But again, Teddy Bridgewater, you never know. So I set it on Seattle for the lock just because Carson Wentz has barely practiced. Um, Russell Wilson, Carson Wentz has never beaten the Seahawks in his career. He's notoriously struggled against them. The Colts just seem snake bitten. And I just, I just like the Seahawks a lot. Um, so then for the player props, this one's um, a little more difficult because there's just so many out there. So what I do for the player props is, um, and a key to the player props actually, while I get into that is the most positive EV plays in football are, are mostly going to be player props. Cause that's where you have the widest variance. Cause there's just so many of them, you know, spread and money line are in total points. Um, only three things, but if you look here, I mean, how many different player props are there? So that's where you can find really the most value. So what I like to do is I'll still look at each one, like, you know, TD score, T touchdown scores, quarterback props, but there's just a lot and it's hard to really get a good, a good value. Um, or sorry, hard to really get, understand just how many there are out there. So like I said, what I like to do as an odds jam paid subscriber, I go to the positive EV page and I'll scan through one there. Um, but one thing that one that really struck me was passing touchdowns. I was looking through and there were two that I liked, and I settled on one. But I'll show you the two. So the first one is Patrick Mahomes over two and a half. So two and a half touchdowns. So if you look at Patrick Mahomes' stats starting off a year, he goes gangbusters. His first career game against the Steelers, he just mopped the floor with them. And, and then last year against the Texans, 
same thing. Um, so Mahomes, he um, he just he he's really good in September and he's really good in the opening game. So so these odds originally were plus one fifty, but they dropped. And if you look at the true line for it, if you look um, if you look at Pinnacle, the true line for it, they have it at like minus. So getting minus the plus is is really good, but plus one twenty, it just wasn't quite good enough for three touchdowns and the off chance that they run some in. Um, this was a little bit higher. Like originally I got it at plus 150. It's no, it's no longer that. Um, but the other one I really like is, and this is the, the official player prop is Ryan Tannehill over one and a half. So it's funny because when I, when I decided to pick that, I looked at the positive EV page just to confirm and see if I can find it. And last I checked, it was the most profitable bet you can make. Um, well, I guess it's, it's the second one. So the first one looks like it's Antonio Gibson, but I don't want to show you this page for too long, but uh, Ryan Tannehill, it's 8% positive EV play. That's great. So the official player prop is Tannehill over one and a half passing touchdowns. Um, another way to verify that would be to, like I showed you before, go to the game. It takes a little bit longer, but you go to the game, Titans, you look at passing touchdowns, you find the best odds. And I believe, so DraftKings had it at what, minus, minus 130? I believe the best odds you can get are minus 110. Um, let's see. I know this is great video, but um, I guess, yeah, I mean, I can show you it on the other page, but I'll just do that just for the quickest way to show you. Um, so the best odds you can get, minus 125. Okay, so that changed. It was, it was minus 110, um, but Caesars, you can get it at over minus 125. And if you look at what the two sharpest sports books out there, Pinnacle and Ozjam have, they have it minus 190. So that's a huge positive EV play. Um, so Ryan Tannehill is going to be the official, uh, over one and a half touchdowns, the official player prop, plop, <laughs> player prop of the week. And the last one I did do have to do something with the chiefs is the chiefs odor over 30 and a half points. So, um, again, the, the game props are a little more difficult because you could just stick with the game lines and choose the game over under, or you could go click on game props and go through there. So I kind of always like the total points one. So if you look at DraftKings, they have the Chiefs over under 30 and a half at minus 110. Um, I believe the best odds you can get on that is minus 109. Where's the Chiefs? This one's a little easier to find. Um, total points, or no, that's, we need team points. Let's see probably somewhere i'm just just embarrassing team total here we go all right so chiefs over three and a half they have, they have it at minus 110 so DraftKings is actually the best line but if you look at pinnacle what they have it priced at um and the way you find that is you go, you go to just pinnacle sportsbook you click on the game um and then eventually they give you the team total so they have it priced at minus 121 so um that's the uh, 0.11 the point difference you can get so the official chiefs game prop is going to be over 30 and a half chiefs or sorry, the official game prop is going to be Chiefs over 30 and a half points. And you want to find the best odds. In this case, for me specifically, it's minus 110 um, on DraftKings, I guess in FanDuel. And they don't, they're, they're the ones that have it available right now. It might honestly be better later in the week. We're doing this on the Friday night. So just to recap, um, the best, or sorry, the picks, four picks of the week, Seattle money line, and just find the best odds you can get. Eagles money line, same thing. Uh, Ryan Tanhill over one and a half passing touchdowns and Chiefs over 30 and a half points. Um, I'm feeling 4 0 in week one. I don't know about you guys. And <laughs> um, last thing I want to highlight is again the importance of odd shopping. It's the best, I mean, not the best way. It's, in, it's a, if you're making your own personal bets outside of arbing, middling, all this stuff, it's the easiest way to continue to be profitable is to make sure you get the best odds. So um, again, make sure you do that. The product for Odds Jam, it pays for itself. I mean, I'm, I'm only going over specific picks that I like uh, and also using their tool to make sure it's a positive EV play. That's incredibly important to do that. It's it's the only way to bet and to guarantee to make money unless you're just a crazy sharp. But again, we've kind of learned that the sharps, a lot of those you know, people that sell picks, a lot of those are kind of scams or they or they use similar software, so it's a software such as Odds Jam. So, um, if you like the video, if you like the picks, let me know. Uh, so as always, you can find me on Twitter at Modi underscore sports, or you can hit me up on email at Modi sports analytics at gmail.com. Uh, and if you're tailing, I would love to know. 
and best of luck. Happy watching. Happy betting. Thanks.